If you wanted a video about how my experience was amazing and perfect and everything was great at FIT, this is not for you. What's up everybody? It is Christine and I am back with another video. It has been a hot minute, I know, but I am ready to sit down and film this video and talk all about my experience at FIT, the Fashion Institute of Technology here in New York. So I'm just going to dive into everything that you need to know from applying to FIT, the process of it, when you'll get your letters back, transitioning and moving to New York, the entire process is crazy, orientation, what you need to know, also about the work curriculum and how it is like and structured at FIT, as well as making friends and all of that other fun stuff sprinkled in. So I'm ready to talk and sit down about this. I have my coffee here. It is kind of melted because it took me a while to get ready today. I'm ready to spill the tea, or in this case, spill the coffee, and talk about all the things FIT related. So if you're interested, keep watching. Before I jump into this video, I just want to go ahead and talk about my background and give a little disclaimer. So this is just my experience. Everybody's experience is going to be different, of course, but I just wanted to let you guys know. I majored in advertising and marketing communications, which is a mouthful, so AMC for short, and that is in the business school there that they have. So that is what I did for my AA. You initially, when you apply, you apply first as an associate's degree, and then you can move on to bachelor's. A lot of people do end up going into the bachelor's. However, if you are only looking to do an associate's, you're more than welcome to do that at FIT. So yeah, that is kind of what I did. I didn't really know FIT until my senior year of high school. My mom sat me down and was like, hey, you really got to start thinking about colleges, which is I'm sure what every parent tells their child and you're just like, I don't want to think about this shit, I just want to graduate. But you know, like, I was thinking about those things and I was like, hey, what am I good at? Like, what do I like doing? What can I see myself doing in the future? So I was thinking, okay, I'm good at writing. I suck at math. I suck at like any of the sciences. So I was trying to go into writing more of the arts in that type of way, but I was never really that great at drawing or painting or graphic designing. That was never really a true passion of mine. So now going on to the application process. So I believe the application process for the design students is very different than with the business school. So I applied to the business school. I am not a design student. I cannot draw. I cannot do any of that. So I'm sorry if you are here for design advice. This is for the business school section only. So this might not apply to you. However, the rest of the experience may apply. So you can go ahead and skip this part if you would like. So with applying, I believe there were two essays. One essay was about FIT and the reason why you wanted to go there, why you were a good fit. And I think there was also another essay. I'm not quite sure what the prompt was. I forgot. It was four years ago, so apologies. But I think it was something to do with um, FIT's motto or quote at the time and why you thought that applied to you as a person or a personal experience that is something that you can draw from that. A lot of schools do a similar prompt to that. It's not very difficult. Um, so yeah, so I just applied with those two and like obviously my college transcripts and then applying with my um, academic scores like the SAT or ACT. Just wanted to put a disclaimer out there. Um, I know SATs and ACTs are very heavily focused upon and I would say so, but I feel like at FIT they really didn't matter that much because mine were not that great. And I still got in, so um, it really depends I think on your writing skill and what you have on your college transcript. Showing the different extracurriculars you did and all those kinds of stuff really does also help colleges see you as a well-rounded person, which makes you more likely to be a candidate to be a student there. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. So that was what I did when I was applying. I just filled it out online. I wrote those essays, submitted it. It was all good. I think the deadline was like January, so nothing too crazy. I think I got my acceptance like mid-April or something like that. So yeah, everything was really great. Um, you just get it in the mail and nothing too crazy. And um, it was all a really easy application process. 
So next I'm going to be talking about the prep of FIT. So finding roommates, finding which building to stay in, finding out um, where to have a hotel if you are coming with your family or if you are road tripping in. What are the logistics? What do you need to know? Especially if you have never been to New York before. So if this is your first time going to New York and it's in the process of moving, these are some tips I would give you. So when trying to transition into college mode, I would highly, highly, highly recommend to go onto Facebook and scroll and look at all of the people that are trying to find a roommate because honestly, having a roommate, a good roommate for your first year is pretty important and you don't want to be stuck miserable with one person that is always mopey or never cleans the dishes or is always super naggy like you don't want that you want somebody that is going to fit your vibe and is nice and can be your friend but also be a good roommate to you so that's what i did i went onto facebook i was heavily searching make sure you skype them that is what i did i skype them or i facetime them um just for like 30 minutes and was like hey like you know this is who i am i'm like you know explaining myself i think it's cool to have a little talk because um depending on your personality i enjoy having roommates that are my friends but they're not my main group of friends so that is kind of what I did I'm still friends with some of my roommates to this day which is awesome so yeah that is something I would really recommend doing just really think about who you are as a person if their lifestyle matches with yours and yeah Skype them and see how it is Alrighty, so the next part is dorming. So I would highly recommend, this is just my personal preference, um, to go to alumni hall or to co-ed hall. So those are the two halls that are both co-ed. Um, I believe that they have a mixture of both suites and quads. So suites, that's two people, and quads is four people. I lived in a four-person setting, so I had three other roommates, which is a lot of people. And um, we had a kitchen and we had a bathroom and it was really nice because Trader Joe's is not too far so you could just walk to go and get your groceries if you were not feeling like you wanted to do the meal plan swipe card. So yeah, that was super convenient. I really enjoyed doing that. So yeah, I would highly recommend going into those two also because those are the only dorms with air conditioning. So that is very convenient. Um, I really recommend taking advantage of living in the dorms if you are out of state just because it's so close to sorry just because it's so 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 close to the campus it's right across the street so you could literally wake up for a 9 a.m class at 8 45 and then just walk across the street so that's super convenient i love that um so yeah those are the two dorms i would highly recommend Okay, moving on, the next tip I wanted to give about moving in and the transition of going into college is finding a hotel or where to stay when you are in the process of moving in. So, when my parents and I, when we came over to New York, we stayed at a hotel nearby FIT, which was super convenient. However, if you do have a lot of luggage, it may be inconvenient to lug all that luggage because we literally had to walk like a couple blocks with that luggage, which was very irritating and not great, but it did save a cab ride. So that is something you can also consider. I would recommend staying anywhere in the Midtown area. So anything from even 50th Street to 20th Street in between those areas. You could always just cab it or Uber it to FIT, drop you off. That way you can have all your bags and stuff, lug all that crap into your dorm room. So just know that the dorm room process does take some time to get into there just because there are so many people, so many floors. It should be a smooth transition. So yeah, just make sure you find accommodating stay that can help you with those kinds of things. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the workload in school. So every single major is going to be different. I would say the first two years of your AA, you definitely learn a lot. That is the most crucial time for you. That is building your foundation for your bachelor's degree. So I did advertising and marketing communications for my associates and also for my bachelor's because the specific field I did want to go into, which was PR and marketing, was better geared for an advertising and marketing communications degree track compared to a lot of the other business majors like fashion business management or international trade and marketing. Those are some other majors that could help me achieve those goals. However, the advertising and marketing communications major 
those courses were better suited for the path that I was trying to go on to, which is why I stuck with it. I would not say the classes for the AA was extremely difficult. It was challenging, however, it was never to the point where I was suffering and struggling so much that I needed to stay late and ask the teacher for everything. So the AA was not difficult. Because my associates and bachelors was in the same major, um, it caused for a little bit of repetitiveness, which is what I found in my bachelor years. Um, the first and last semester of my bachelor's um, was the most difficult, I would say. Possibly because in the beginning you're being pushed to really extend yourself and do everything and then at the end of your bachelor's you're just grinding, you know, to graduate. Yeah, that is just my experience there. I know that a lot of the design majors, they're hit pretty hard when they go into their fashion design classes. It is a lot of pattern making, it is a lot of different sketching, all that kind of stuff. I don't know the technical terms, I'm sorry. But um, basically, I heard that it can be a little difficult, however, extremely rewarding. So you just really have to think in the long term, is this something I really picture myself doing? And if it's not, then maybe it's not the right major for you. And if you still really enjoy FIT and you think you found another passion there, I would highly recommend transferring out of that if you can into another major. I believe that you can definitely change majors within your school. So if you are a design student and say you are an illustration major and you wanted to go into graphic design, I'm pretty sure you can make that switch. However, for example, if you're like a film major and you want to go into textile development marketing, you would not be able to make that switch because one is the School of Art and Design and the other is the School of Business. So if you are trying to switch between two different uh, two different schools, I don't think you can do that. However, if it's within the same school, it is much easier. So I would highly recommend that if you do because if you do pull out of FIT, you will have to reapply again. So that's just something to think about if you are ever considering changing your major. A lot of my friends have done it before and it's pretty easy the process but I would just try to figure that out within your AA degree time so within the first two years of your school there. Next we're going to talk about minors. So whether you would like to minor at FIT or not, that is a choice of your own really. Um, I did not minor just for the sole purpose because there was nothing I really found that interests me. However, now that I look back, if I was to minor in something, it would probably be something like graphic design just because I think those skills are definitely something that would be useful in my field which is PR and marketing. Those are some skills that are just going to enhance you as a candidate to employers when you are applying for a future job. Okay, so making friends at FIT, I'm gonna tell you, it's effing hard, yo. Like, I don't mean to scare you because I'm just trying to be as real as possible on this platform, but um, making friends at FIT is a little different than other schools. A lot of other schools, they really heavily focus on clubs and they focus on having a Greek system so like having sororities and fraternities which you can join to help connect you to a family. However, FIT does not have sororities and fraternities. We do not have any of that kind of stuff. We have clubs for sure, um, social and business clubs that will help propel you in your career and future. Um, I just want to put it out there that making friends at FIT is not easy and it's gonna take work and it's gonna take time and you just have to try because let me tell you how it is, okay? Let me tell you the tea. FIT is a commuter school. I'm just throwing out statistics, but probably half the people that go there are commuters. Over half the people are commuters. And that is because FIT is located in New York City, is located very close to other states like New Jersey, like Connecticut, like some other places. They commute from Long Island, they commute from Jersey, they commute from Connecticut, they commute from deep in the Bronx or deep in Queens. So a lot of people are commuting because Kids do not want to pay a freaking crazy amount to stay in the city, which is understandable. So just know that when you are coming to the school, a lot of people already have their sole group of friends. If you are going to FIT just for the social life, I'm going to tell you it's not for you. There is a non-existent social life. There are no parties. There are no nothing crazy fun. Um, I know the student government really tries to make it a fun and exciting environment, and they do throw on some cool events. They have movie nights on Wednesdays, I believe, and they do some fun events here and there. Like, I know that there's like a dance at the end of the school year, something like that. They bring on artists sometimes. Last year, I saw Kalani, which was really cool, but 
most of the time, I would say, FIT, if you do want to make friends, just know that you are going to have to put that initiative out there. So what I did my freshman year is I was just super friendly and super open and tried to talk to everybody. I was that person that was hitting up people, being that kind of girl and was like, hey, like, do you want to hang out? Like, hey, like, let's get lunch because to be honest, Sometimes with friends, it's like dating. You will never know who is really going to be a great friend for you and a great match for you until you try it and you try to talk to them and you try to meet them. So there's really no other way around it than giving it a go and giving it a try. So that is what I did. Just really make yourself available and try to say yes to a lot of things. So if somebody invites you out for lunch, please say yes and just try to go. And if you don't end up liking them, you don't really have to talk to them again. Um, or you could just you know, let it fade out, whatever you prefer to do. But I would recommend that within your first semester and your second semester at FIT, try to say yes to as many things as possible without really overloading yourself too much. Try to say yes to a lot of social events and things that you think that you'd be interested in. Um, but again, you never really know until you give it a try. So just try to take that chance and meet as many people as possible. Um, you may not connect with a lot of them. You might connect with a ton of them. And from there, you can really narrow down who who you think you are closer with and who you really vibe with and um, your morals that line up together. Regarding clubs, I would definitely recommend joining a club, one social and one re related to your business. For example, when I was at FIT, I joined Asian Student Network, um, not just because, yes, I'm Asian, but also because I was like, hey, like, Throughout most of my upbringing, I would say I was surrounded by people that were not Asian, so I wanted to connect more with my culture and other people that were Asian, which is why I joined that club, which was amazing, and I ended up being vice president and president in that club. So, you know, crazy things can happen when you join a club and you really connect with people. So highly recommend joining a social club because you might find a family there, you never know. And um, joining a business club, FIT has tons of business clubs. I know that they have the advertising club, they have a merchandising club society, and they bring on like really cool speakers like Michael Kors and a bunch of other people that are pretty famous or up there and you can get connections to that. For me, I joined PRSSA, which is a Public Relations Student Society of America. And through that, I was able to get some connections and meet some people and just hear their experience because you can always learn about internship experience and um, kind of weed out what you do like and what you don't like from um, other people as well. I'm just going to mention this briefly, but I'm sure y'all know New York is expensive as heck, okay? If you want to have fun and you want to go out and you want to shop and you want to meet people and stuff like that, you're going to kind of need the money for it. A girl's got to work and get her coin. You got to work hard. You got to play hard. So. That is what you gotta do to survive in New York. All right guys, that is it for this video. It is a freaking long one, I know. I have lots to say about FIT. Not the most organized school, I will tell you that. Um, But you know what, I feel like I would not have traded my experience for anything else because it has made me the person I am today. You can learn so much from going to FIT and just living in the city and being challenged 24 seven. Not gonna lie, like New York kinda kills you. A little bit inside but anyways um yeah i feel like new york has taught me so much and going to fit in particular has taught me so much about myself and i'm sure i could have learned these lessons anywhere however i specifically found them in new york and here at fit if you guys would like me to make a video more about my experience in new york um as somebody that has not grew up here in new york the process and everything creating friends in new york being lonely um being homesick all of those things i'd love to make a video about that as well um it's been so interesting living here honestly i have such a love-hate relationship with new york i mean most of the time i hate it but there are some times where man i just love it here like there's just nowhere else where you can find such convenience and amazing diverse group of people and the best pizza ever and the best bagels ever and amazing food and just a really interesting place and um i hope this helps if you are in the process of applying to FIT if you are going to FIT in the future. I'm so excited for you, so happy for you. Please don't take everything I said, so seriously, take it with a grain of salt. This is my experience, not yours, so yeah, I just wanted to put that out there, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!